Good morning, and welcome to the GHS Reporter. Today is Monday, December 9th, and I'm Travis Carousel. The World Anti-Doping Agency has banned Russia from using their flag, anthem, and team names during international sporting events, including the Olympics and World Cup, for four years. According to WTHR, the ban was imposed after investigators found evidence that Russian authorities had tampered with a Moscow laboratory database to hide hundreds of potential doping cases and falsely shift the blame over to whistleblowers. Russia is expected to appeal the ban. Russian athletes had also complete, competed under a neutral flag during the 2018 Winter Olympics as a result of further doping accusations during the 2014 Winter Olympics, which were hosted in Sochi. Salem Marin was just appointed by Finland as the world's youngest prime minister. The Guardian reports that the 34-year-old will also be only the third woman worldwide to be elected prime minister. She has pledged to make Finland carbon neutral by 2035. No more survivors have been found on White Island, New Zealand. The center of a volcanic eruption on Monday. According to BBC World News, 50 people were on the island at the time. 23 have been rescued and 5 confirmed deceased. Local boats in the area at the time of the eruption were able to assist with the rescue. Seismologist Ken Gledhill commented on the size of the eruption, saying it was not a large eruption, but to be on the line on the island at the time, in his words, would not have been good. Eli Manning is making his return tonight in what should be an interesting divisional game against the Philadelphia Eagles. According to ESPN, the Giants starting quarterback Daniel Jones is not active with an ankle sprain, giving Manning the starting role again. Manning started the first two weeks of the season and lost both, so he is trying to get his first win of the season tonight. Over the weekend, the LSU Tigers blew out the Georgia Bulldogs in the SEC Championship game by a score of 37-10. LSU's quarterback, Joe Burrow, had a monster game passing for four touchdowns with 349 yards of completing 28 out of his 38 attempts. LSU, number one, will play Oklahoma, number four, in the Peach Bowl on Saturday, December 26th at 4 p.m. The Ohio State Buckeyes played a tough game against the Wisconsin Badgers in the Big Ten Championship. After, tr- after trailing 21-7 at halftime, the Buckeyes scored 17 on Lancer points in the third quarter. That sealed the game, and the Buckeyes won 34-21. Ohio State will go on to play the Clemson Tigers in the Fiesta Bowl on Saturday, December 28th at 8 p.m. Sources of strength is sponsoring the 10 Day of Gratitude. We encourage everyone to participate in this each day. For the first day today, please say hello to someone new. Carol Spinney, the puppeteer, cartoonist, and author, died yesterday. He was 85 years old. He was famous for playing Big Bird and Oscar the Grouch in Sesame Street. A man ate a $120,000 banana, according to CNN and the New York Times. The famous banana had been duct taped to a wall as part of an art exhibit entitled Comedian by Maurizio Catalan on display at the Art Basil Miami Beach. Until David Detula, a Georgian-born American artist, peeled it from the wall, and ate it. Reports are mixed about whether it was a publicity stunt and just part of the installation. That's all for the GHS Reporter today. Remember to find today's announcements online and on Twitter at GHS Announcement. I'm Travis Carasone. Today is a C-Day. Have a great day.